Nothing of today. Time. Nothing real major, I guess, from what we can determine. The price I'm of cigarettes is going up. Why? Cheese puffs. Really, yeah. Now, the idea here is snack foods are going to cost more, although we don't have to pay sales tax for them. It's yeah. being applied federally at the, uh, you know, the manufacturing yeah. level. Yeah, sure. Hit the kids. Why See, not? you go here to the phone. Hello, AM60. Uh, I've got an update for you, Aaron. Uh, it seems a collective sigh of relief is being felt across Parliament Hill right now as details of Finance Minister Wilson's latest budget are making their way across the country. Needless to say, some further analysis is due, and we will be hearing about it for days to come. That's it. The budget directly from the House of Commons in Ottawa. Sandy. Yes, Aaron. The, the budget has already come down. I missed it. How could you miss it? You're on the floor of the House of Commons. Where have you been? I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? I guess I uh, didn't get the details. We send you to Ottawa. You go to the House of Commons to bring us budget report updates. You haven't had one solid piece of information all afternoon long. The budget's been released, and you're calling me to tell you there's a sense of excitement on the floor because it's going to be released. Well, I guess I missed some of the details. Yeah, I guess so, huh, buddy? Generally speaking, it was an exciting moment on Parliament Hill. Sandy. Uh, yes, sir. Take your body in an airplane and get right back here right now. Okay. I want to see you in my office. I usually don't get that that hot, but uh, yes, you do. We send the guy to Ottawa. He's supposed to cover the budget. Well, you what know, he has no come clue. On. He's excited. It's yeah, his first excited, time yeah. doing a thing like that. Seven before five o'clock. Let's take a look at traffic. Melody, what do you got for us? Jeez, I'm I just it You're burns so me. So hot. Just relax. You think you got trouble. People heading over towards Chattagay this afternoon going to have a tough time. Mercier Bridge, very, very slow going. We have a number of stalled trucks on the Mercier Bridge in the right-hand lane. It's going to be a little bit before uh, they get them all cleared away. As a result, traffic very heavy on Highway 20 westbound, almost like a parking lot through the Turcotte Yards and the Ville St. Pierre Interchange. Inbound uh, Highway 20, also heavy for the 138 cutoff for the Mercier Bridge. And Auto Route 13 northbound is heavy from the Trans-Canada all the, all the way up to the span. Auto Route 13 southbound is busy from about Hickmore. And this traffic report is brought to you by Point Claire Chrysler, where you can find over 286 models on sale and prices. Point Claire Chrysler, opposite the Fairview Shopping Center. Six minutes before five o'clock. Six in front of five. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the weather and weather replay brought to you by Dick Gans. Here is a detailed look with Tasso Patsy mm -hmm. Let me to you. The weather. Well, what we had the past couple of days, we're going to get for a few more days, perhaps right through to Saturday or Sunday. The ridge of high pressure and sunshine going to stay here and above normal temperatures for this time of the year. So what can I say that I haven't already said? Sign and my, I'm sorry. Yes. I know. I stopped before you stopped me. Low tonight, minus 16 or 3 in the Fahrenheit. The high for tomorrow, minus 3 or 27. And those temperatures are going to hold steady probably throughout the rest of the week and into, oh, Saturday or Sunday. Present temperature in downtown Montreal under sunny skies, minus 8 or voila, 18 on the Fahrenheit. And now, weather replay brought to you by Dick Ann's. Two locations in Montreal, Peanut Boulevard in Montreal North and LaBelle Boulevard in Chamonix Laval. Uh, they would. Oh, wait a minute. Dick Ann's Restaurants bringing you weather replay. Dick Ann's for the finest hamburgers in town where the sauce makes the difference. Montreal North on Peanut Boulevard, LaBelle Boulevard, and Chamonix Laval. Dick Ann's Hamburgers, a one-in-a-kind experience. One-in-a-kind. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Head on down there. Remember one thing. They're closed Monday and Tuesday. Open the rest of the week. Dick Ann's Hamburgers. They are the best. Yes, my business. Yes, I do. Absolutely right. Let's take a look at sports. Rob Falls is in. We're going to bring you up to date on that just after 5 o'clock. We have some stuff to give away, some tickets to go see Pump Boys and Dinettes over at the Centaur Theater. That's for the Sunday show. In addition, some underwear from the folks at Calvin Klein. Mm. This is ladies' oh. underwear, which shouldn't change your ooh and ah. But uh, we'll be giving those away after 5 o'clock as well. You were talking about Pump Boys and Welcome back, seven minutes after five o'clock. Thank you very much. Minus eight degrees is our temperature. The Aaron Rand Show final hour budget day here today. As you heard, a uh, little, uh, we, we're kind of embarrassed today. Sandy Wiggins, our, uh, our producer, was sent down to Ottawa to give us budget updates. And, of course, the budget was, uh, had already come down. That's our theme for budget updates, but there are no more, so we won't have to hear that again this afternoon. Did you get that, Glenn? Yeah, there'll what? be no more of those. No more theme yeah. for the budget, okay? Thank you. Seven but, past five. But, uh, but, but I like that thing. I, I don't really care. care. Stop it. You know, Aaron, 
One more of those, uh, Glenn, you'll have to call your shop steward. Seven after five is our time. Ladies and gentlemen, a rather distressing situation in the mail. This came across my desk this morning. You know... <laughs> you know, Melody, you're beginning to get on my nerves. Aaron? Yes, uh, Tasso. Uh, I'm usually uh, the one who is uh, making the trouble. That's right. But uh, you have to get a grasp uh, on this. So we need I'll a little direction here. Melody in just a minute if she doesn't uh, well, simmer down. Be careful. Uh, I got this thing in the mail. This is from uh, now. Okay, let's ask a question here. All, All right. right. All right. R rhetorical question. You're going to buy yourself a compact disc player. Okay. Where do you go to buy it? La Plata. La Plata. La Plata. Okay. How many of you said Esso? <laughs> um, Nobody. I, Good. No. Here's a thing in the mail. This is from Esso. La Esso Plata. as in the oil guys. Esso yeah. Petroleum. Oh, yeah. They're selling compact disc players in their flyers when they send out their bill. Yeah. Yes, you can buy this beautiful compact disc player for only $395. Like, you spent 40 bucks on gas for the month. They sent you this thing. Spent 400 to buy a compact disc player, and you would buy How many people would buy a compact disc player from Esso? Um, what do you do when it breaks? You take it to like a self-serve or what? <laughs> they fix the laser pickup? Yeah, fill it up, check my oil, and the, the pickup beam on my laser is kind of acting up. Could you have a look at that too? So, and I bet you people will buy from here. Yeah, well, that's why they said bucks. That's it's incredible. I bought it? one. I thought it was kind of... Well, this is... Uh, will you... you bought one? Yeah. From who? Gulf. From Gulf? Last year. What did you buy? I bought a VCR. You're unbelievable. No, you did. You, wrote, you bought a VCR from Gulf? Yeah. They sent a flyer. And, uh, I see. And you figured, hey, put in your leg. No, she's serious. And yeah. You figured, hey, this is a good price. Yeah. And I, I think I'll buy this. Worked out right Because well. who can service a VCR better than Gulf Canada? Side? And my particular VCR takes unleaded. Hmm. And it runs real well. Nine after <laughs> five o'clock. Well, I feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Nine past I thought five. I was the only dummy around here. Bad news for traffic today. I'm sorry, ladies uh, and gentlemen. I'd like to have good news for you, but I'm afraid we don't have a whole lot. So let's take a look at it. That's right. If you're heading over to Chateauguay, the Mercier Bridge very slow going. That's because of a couple of problems with stalled cars. They are out of the way, but as a result, as you approach it uh, from Highway 20 inbound, it's heavy, and also outbound Highway 20 through the Turcotte Yards. Northbound to Cary, heavy now from Van Horn up to the top. We have a stalled car in the left-hand lane just near the Cary Circle. Once you're through the interchange, Trans Canada works well out to the West Island with some minor slowdowns between Hyman and Sources. And this traffic report is brought to you by Courier Call, Montreal's fastest and most dependable rush messenger service delivering anywhere on the island or surrounding areas from 483-3042. Ten after five o'clock, and speaking of VCRs and, and, and the like, and compact this, I guess you know where to go for that. As you said, La Plata, yeah, obviously Platt, the place. Right. right now, though, La Plata is the place to go for cameras. They have a yeah. huge photography sound. Yeah, but you're sitting there holding and, and yeah. a little light like that press yeah. the button, stupid, press the button, a few times. And so. Not really. Not really at all, is it? No. Apologize. I'm sorry to Pantax. Okay. Pentax cameras at La Plata. <laughs> They're at 2050 St. Lawrence Boulevard, just below Sherbrooke. Remember, the Pentax A3000, three automatic exposure modes plus auto film class. Where smart people have been shopping for years. 11 after 5 o'clock. Birthdays today, we mentioned some of the big ones. And John... diet. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, John Travolta is 33 today. We mentioned that one. Uh, Juice Newton celebrating today. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. was born in 1952. Mm -hmm. In 1782. Oh, boy. Niccolo Paganini. Paganini. Niccolo Paganini. Yes. And it's a funny who thing. Who has been immortalized now at La Pastoria. Yes, that's right. I yes. was just going to say that. Italian violinist whose virtuosity became a legend was born on this date in 1782 in Genoa. Genoa. That's right. Almost famous salami. The Genoese, of course. That's right. Uh, he extended the range of the violin by his use of harmonics as well as perfecting the use of double and triple stops. Paganini's success in Milan uh, carried over right across Europe. He died in 1840 of cancer of the larynx, unfortunately. But we have immortalized, we think, in some way, the works of Paganini, perhaps the greatest violin player in the history of the world. Flem? Paganini and the Genoa Wise Man, Sweet Sicily Brown. What a great song! All right, there you have it. Niccolo Paganini, born on this date back in 1782. Nice, we had a chance to spend some time and bring us some of his fine, fine music. 
And uh, one other birthday we left out today, Walt Grealis is celebrating a birthday today. He's a famous Canadian music industry a publisher. He publishes RPM Magazine and a good personal friend. Excuse me. I never met the man. Yes, the uh, dead celebrity line. Dead celebrity line, ladies and gentlemen. Please excuse us. We'll take a brief break here to go to the line. Hello, AM60. Hello. As I mentioned before, you are always um, playing uh, things on the air with uh, a substandard, shall we say. And can you uh, prove to me uh, that I was right? And this is not Paganini. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just introduce our dead celebrity today. This is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart Garfunkel. Nice to have you here, Wolfgang. Uh, thank um, you. Now, what is the problem here? You don't believe that was Paganini. And I, it's not that I don't believe. It's just, uh, I am uh, positive it's not Paganini. It's All right, let me check with our producer, uh, Flem Repoff. Flem, uh, that was Paganini, was it not? Sure was. Uh, I, I, I think that perhaps if yeah. you uh, look on the, the record, and uh, check uh, closer. What? It was not Paganini. Oh, just a second now, Flem. Check the. Uh, you have the, have the album cover there. I have it here. Uh, what is it? Uh, what does it say on the album cover? It says uh, uh, Pagliaro. What? Pagliaro. Pagliaro. I'm sorry, Wolfgang. You're absolutely right, and I apologize. It's my pleasure not to apologize. Please. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry. I was listening on uh, ZFZX short base. Yeah. Okay, and we appreciate you calling Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Garfunkel. And uh, Wolfgang, I tell you what, to make it up to you, we, do we have a Paganini record here, Flem? Yes, we do. All right, do you mind, please, playing a proper right, tune from it? Right. Here it is for you, Wolfgang. <laughs> Finally, we hit the nail on the head. Wunderbar, wunderbar. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very, very welcome. There it is. Nicola Paganini, a master. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Flem. Nicola Paganini, born on this date back in 1782. Well ahead of his time, I would guess, from this you music. You woke me up to do it. Thank you, Flem. <laughs> yes, yeah, our musical arranger, Flem Repa. Yes, Melody, what is it, dear? Well, what, do you, what are you? What are you? You're making signs at me here. Never what mind. Going with the show. Oh, I can go on. <laughs> go Thank on. you very, very much. We got the green light, ladies and gentlemen, to go ahead with Thank the show goodness. for Melody. <laughs> Okay, no private calls for Melody or anything right about <laughs> that? Not no, uh, no, uh, no, lady no. does her nails, nothing like nothing that? Nothing yet. Thanks. Okay, well then let's take a news break. We have some time from AM60. AM60. Mozart Garfunkel here for calories, 4114 St. Catherine West. It's a marvelous thing I want to tell what you. What the hell is going on here? Uh, pardon me? What are you doing? I'm uh, doing a commercial for calories. No, you don't do commercials. Tasso does commercials for calories. Uh, Tasso is unavailable. Uh, yeah, well, I tell you what, then, I guess so is this commercial, okay? 20 minutes after 5 o'clock, minus 8 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. Minus 8 is our temperature. Uh, I don't know, that Wolfgang, you let him call once or twice. He thinks you're like he runs the place. He's a regular member of the show. Tasso, is, where is Tasso, Flem? Uh, I think he's just coming down the hall. Tasso! Tasso! Yeah, am I late? Just a couple of minutes. You what want to happened? tell the folks about calories? Wolfgang was trying to steal your money. Oh, why didn't you let... No, no, no. No, it I doesn't wanna... work that way. He's not here. He kind no. of... No, oh, I tell you. Well, anyway, if... I'll do the... I'm sorry. All right. Go ahead. I'm all upset. You should have... If that don't work, you have to dial 611 for the reparation. 